Let us look at another example of forecasting using the trend adjusted exponential smoothing method. A retail chain company recently started carrying a new brand of soft drink in its retail stores. Their management is interested in estimating future sales volume to determine whether it should continue to carry the new brand or replace it with another brand. So this is a decision making scenario where the management of a retail chain company is deciding on the product to be kept in their stores. They have options to keep different brands of soft drinks and currently the brand that they are carrying is being evaluated to find out if it is going to generate good revenues and if not they are thinking of replacing it with another brand. So in order to make this decision one of the most important factors is how much future sales volume is the current brand going to generate. Now at the end of April the average monthly sales volume of the new soft drink brand was 700 cans and the trend was 50 cans per month. The actual sales volume figures for May, June and July are 760, 800 and 820 respectively. Use the trend adjusted exponential smoothing with alpha equals to 0.2 and beta equals to 0.1 to forecast the usage for June, July and August. So here we have been given that at the end of April the average monthly sales volume of the new soft drink brand was 700 cans. So this is not just for April but the average has been recorded as 700 cans and the trend was 50 cans per month. Now we have also been given the actual sales volume for May, June and July and we have to find out the forecast for June, July and August. So basically here we are mainly trying to find out the forecasted sales volume for August because for June and July we already know the actual demand. Now the formula for trend adjusted exponential smoothing is forecast including trend for period T is equal to the forecast for T without the trend plus the trend for period T. Now forecast for period T is equal to forecast including trend for period t minus 1 plus alpha into bracket the actuals for t minus 1 minus the forecast including trend for t minus 1 and the trend for period t is equal to the trend for period t minus 1 plus beta into bracket forecast for period t this is nothing but this what we calculated in the first formula minus forecast including trend for t minus 1 so we have been given the actuals for April so basically we are considering this average as the actual for April. We have also been given the actuals for May, June and July. But we have to have the forecast including trend for the previous period that is T minus 1 in order to calculate the forecast for the next period that is T. So in this case let's assume that for the month of April, so for April, forecast including trend, let's say this is T minus 1, is equal to 
700. The actual is also 700. So actual t minus 1 is equal to 700. We already know the values of alpha and beta. Alpha is 0.2, beta is 0.1. And the trend for t minus 1 is equal to 50. So using this information, we can calculate the forecast including trend for May and then continue similarly to calculate the forecast including trend for August. So let's do the calculations. So this is the information that has been provided to us. For April, even though we don't have the actual sales volume for April, but we have the average at the end of April, but we are considering 700 as the actual demand for April. And we are also considering 700 as the forecast for April. We have been given the trend per month is 50. So for April, we are considering the trend as 50. And we have also been given the actual demand for May, June and July. So using this information, let us first find out the forecast and trend for May. So forecast for May will be equal to forecast including trend for the previous period, which is April. So forecast including trend for April plus alpha into bracket the actuals for April minus the forecast including trend for April. So forecast including trend for April is 700 plus alpha is 0.2. The actuals is also 700 minus the forecast including trend for April which is again 700. So 700 minus 700 becomes 0. So this whole thing is 0. So this becomes 700. Now let's calculate the trend for May. So this is equal to the trend for April. So trend for April plus beta into bracket the forecast for the same period that is forecast for May. So forecast for May minus the forecast including trend for April. So the trend for April is 50 plus beta is given as 0.1 forecast for May was 700 minus forecast including trend for April is 700. So this becomes 0, so this becomes 50. So now this is 50 and forecast including trend for May is the forecast plus the trend, so 700 plus 50, this becomes 750. Now let's proceed to June. So I will indicate June as JE and July as JY just so that it doesn't become very confusing. So now forecast for JE is equal to the forecast including trend for the previous period which is May plus alpha into bracket the actual for May minus forecast England trend for T minus 1 which is May. So this is equal to forecast England trend for May was 750 plus alpha which is 0 0.2 multiplied by the actuals for May which is 760 
minus the forecasting unit trend for May which is 750. So 750 plus 0 0.2 multiplied by 760 minus 750 is 10. So 750 plus 0 0.2 into 10 is 2 so this becomes 752 now we'll move to trend for June so this is equal to the trend for the previous period which is May plus beta into brackets forecast for the same period which is for June so forecast for June minus the forecasting green trend for the previous period which is for May. So this is equal to trend for May is 50 plus beta is 0.1 into bracket forecast for June is 752 minus forecasting green trend for May which is 750. So 50 plus 0 0.1 multiplied by 752 minus 750 is 2. So 50 plus 0 0.2 and this is equal to 50.2. So here the forecast was 752. The trend is 50.2 so total is 802.2 so let's now move to July okay so for the forecast for July the forecast is equal to forecast including trend for the previous period which is June forecasting green trend for June plus alpha into bracket the actuals for June minus the forecast including trend for June so the forecasting green trend for June is 802.2 plus alpha which is 0 0.2 multiplied by the actuals for June which is 800 minus the forecasting unit trend for June which is 802.2 so this is 802.2 plus 0 0.2 multiplied by minus 2.2 802.2 plus 0.2 multiplied by minus 2.2 is equal to minus 0.44 so this is 802.2 .2 minus 0 0.44 and this is equal to 801.76 now let's find out the trend for July so trend for July is trend for June plus beta into bracket the forecast for the same period which is July minus the forecast including trend for June so trend for June is 50.2 plus beta which is 0.1 Forecast for July, which is 801.76 minus forecasting unit trend for June, which is 802.2. So 50.2 plus 0 0.1, and this is minus 0 0.44. So 50.2 and minus plus will become minus 0.1 into 0.44 is 0.044 so this is equal to 50.156 
so for July the forecast is 801.76 the trend is 50.156 and the total becomes 851.916 I mean you can actually round this off to 852 but I just do not want to do it uh, yet for the accuracy of calculations so let's now move to August now August I'll consider as AU so the forecast for August is equal to the forecast including trend for the previous period which is July plus alpha into bracket the actuals for July minus the forecast including trend for July so this is equal to forecast including trend for July is 851.916 plus alpha which is 0 0.2 into bracket the actuals for July which is 820 minus the forecast including trend for July which is 851.916 So this is equal to 851.916 plus 0 0.2 and into bracket minus 31.916. So this is equal to 851.916 and plus minus will become minus 0.2 multiplied by 31.916 which is 6.3832. So this is equal to 845.5328. Now let's find out the trend for August. So this is equal to the trend for July plus beta into bracket the forecast for August minus the forecast including trend for July. So this is equal to trend for July is 50.156 plus beta which is 0 0.1 forecast for August which is 845.5328 minus the forecasting going trend for July which is 851.916. So this is equal to 50.156 plus 0 0.1 into bracket. So this is equal to minus 6.3832. So this is equal to 50.156 plus minus will become minus and this becomes 0 0.63832. So this is equal to 49.51768 so 49.51768 and the forecast was 845.5328 and now let's add these two up to get the forecast including trend for August so the total comes out to 895 point zero five so this is the forecast including trend for the month of august